Hey guys, welcome to part six about parody, everyone's favorite thing. Um, the most common misconception about three style that I've found, or one of the most common things, is that you need some sort of special parody method for it. Um, but this is not true. You can use any parody method with any method because all the only goal of a parity method is to solve the odd corner and the odd edge at the end. And so basically any parity method can work with any method. So it's kind of ironic, I guess, then, that I'm making a parity video. Um, but if I'm talking about advanced methods, I might as well talk about advanced parity while I'm at it. So, so if you're... If you're okay having an extra second or two on your time, you, it, you can probably just keep using whatever parity method you're using. As in, if you're using uh, like M2 and like the M2 parity alg um, or whatever you use for that. Um, the, thing, the thing to think about when, when um, talking about parity is... Um, is thinking about uh, how many how many moves it adds to your solve, but also how much time you're going to spend thinking about it. So, so just the normal way of solving parity with M2, um, or for I guess for people who solve edges first, um, is after you solve edges, you solve the, the last edge as an M2 edge, and then you do this L D2 L prime D M2 D prime L2 D, um, and then you solve the last corner as an old Pachman target. Um, and so what that does is, is it solves the last two pieces, the last edge and the last corner. Um, it solves the last edge using an M2 target, which is about seven moves, and using that seven move algorithm. So that's 14 moves followed by an old Pokemon target, which is, you know, about, about, uh, 17 moves. Um, and so, and so that's all right, and th but that's very automatic. Um, the parity method that I use, um is is a little less automatic but um but it doesn't add quite so many moves so what i do is i solve two edges on the top layer into swapped positions um so if i get a if i get like a if i get a scramble that looks like this i'm just going to make it these two edges swapped and i'm going to solve them into opposite positions um and it might sound like it's really tricky to wrap your mind around but uh, really, it's not. You just have to think to yourself, when I hit one of these two colors, in this case, white and orange, I'm just going to put it in the other spot. Um, and so that'll make your edges have even parity. Um, and then when you get to your corners, you just do an old Pachman target to swap these back and swap your last two corners. Um, but the thing is that um, I'm not limited just to that. I can get creative with it and make it so that I can force there to be solved edges that aren't really there. For example, okay, so in this position, um, this edge needs to go there. So if, if there's parity, that works out perfectly for me because it's a solved edge, because it's solved right where I want it to be. However, if I get this edge here, I might look at the scramble and I might go on to memorizing edges and see and see um, that this blue one is solved, and I might say, okay, just for this solve, I'm going to leave these two uh, swapped instead of these two, and then I'll finish off with a T perm or an N perm. Um, or an F perm, I guess in, well, not really an F perm because there really aren't any good set of moves to that, to that spot. Um, or I guess if that's the final target. Um, but, but anyway, um, I like, I like that way of doing parody because it doesn't make you do any thinking during the solving. It mostly just makes you do your thinking during memorization. Um, I think the the most common way for people to do parity is to set up is to set up their last corner and their last edge to a PLL with their buffers. If you have your buffers on different layers, that might get kind of annoying. Like you'll almost always have M2 as part of your setup move, um, and I mean that's all right. Um, and if you like can think through that quickly enough, um, like totally go for it. I mean I'm pretty sure most people do it, um, and you might consider uh, learning. Uh, special algorithm sets for that, though. Uh, perhaps some, perhaps some that make uh, the fact that your buffer's on the bottom a little less awkward. And there's always um, Aaron PM's uh, 22 LL system, which gives where you learn 22 algorithms and you can solve any 
pair of swaps in the last layer. So any two corners that have to be swapped and any two edges that have to be swapped. So what that allows you to do is it allows you to set up your four pieces wherever they are, like let's say like corner buffer, edge buffer, and then like if this is my edge, if this is my edge, and then like this is my corner, it just, I can just, I can just toss up all those pieces up there and then I just have to be able to figure out quickly the algorithm that solves the correct edge flip and corner twist along with um, this VPerm position. Um, and so I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, and I mean, that's really all there is to parody. Um, feel free to get creative, come up with your own stuff. I mean, I mean, one... One often easy thing to do is if, let's say, I okay, I know I have corner parity and I find that I have a, have, a, have a solved edge and then I get to the end of my edge cycle and it's been, and I'm, how, how many would that be? That'd be eight edges in and I get to my buffer. I know I have to break into a new cycle and I know that that new cycle has to be a two swap, assuming that the buffer was solved on the correct sticker. So then I can just I can just find where those two pieces are and leave them as a two swap and solve those two pieces as the parity. So, um, you know, parity can be something that's, that sucks or it can be something that really speeds up your solve. And so, um, and so, and always... Never like force yourself to use um, an advanced parity method. Uh, I mean, unless you're having like a practice session where you're practicing that parity method. But if you're like going for a fast solve and you find a really bad parity case, it's almost always going to be faster just to take just to take the ten extra moves and do the and do your M2 parity or um, whatever your old parity method is um, than it will be to uh, work out work out an unfamiliar position on the spot um, if a solution isn't immediately obvious to you. So uh, that's all I have to say about parity. Um, leave your comments below. Ask me questions. I'm always happy to answer them. And um, yep, see you next time.